were talking to a guy by the name of Alice Nideki, who's the president of the Force Recon Association. And we went and we asked him, who do you want us to run the race for? And he said, uh, Corporal Joseph Lyons, who was one of his teammates, died in Vietnam in 1968. And we just happened to win it last year with the 7th Annual Reconnaissance Challenge. And then we took the, the banner, the dog tags, and we mailed it to his daughter, Kimberly, who was four years old when he passed away. And then through that, you know, we sent a bunch of pictures of us winning the race, and my daughter's coming across the finish line with us. And you know, she sent back a bunch of photos of her dad in you know, Vietnam, and pictures of you know, her dad holding her the last Christmas before he, he uh, deployed to Vietnam and actually uh, was killed. Without a doubt, you know, keeping that memory alive of you know these these fallen service members, whether it be in combat or training, you know, all the way back, you know, and and, and not just recent past 10 years, 15 years, but you know, re reaching back to the lineage. Crossing the finish line uh, for the second year in a row, uh, winning it with my daughters, you know, by my side, running across the finish line and. Gunnery Sergeant Federal Check, who's my uh, staff in CYC. I mean, it, it, it's phenomenal. It's 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 a great feeling, you know, knowing that I can still go out there uh, as a you know feel great to officer and you know be a part of the community and you know lead lead from the front. And then more importantly, most importantly, that you you know did it for that service member. And another year that you know Kimberly Lyons and her family is going to be like, hey, I. I still, I still hold the trophy and they, they put it all out there for my dad again and everybody's recognizing his name and the story, story still lives.